Madness. Madness are an English ska band from Camden Town, North London, who formed in 1976. One of the most prominent bands of the late 1970s and early 1980s TWO Tone Ska Revival, they continued to perform with six of the seven members of their classic lineup. Madness achieved most of their success in the early to mid-1980s. Both Madness and UB40 spent 214 weeks on the UK singles charts over the course of the decade, holding the record for most weeks spent by a group in the 1980s UK singles charts. However, Madness did so in a shorter time period. Madness have had 15 singles reach the UK Top 10, which include One Step Beyond, Baggy Trousers and It Must Be Love, one UK number one single and two number ones in Ireland, House of Fun and Wings of a Dove. Our House was their biggest US hit. In 2000, the band received the Ivor Novello Award from the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors for Outstanding Song Collection. The core of the band formed as the North London Invaders in 1976, and included Mike Barson on keyboards and vocals, Chris Foreman on guitar, and Lee Thompson on saxophone and vocals. They later recruited John Hassler on drums and Cahill Smith on bass guitar. Later in the year, they were joined by lead vocalist Dicron Delane. This six-piece lineup lasted until part way through 1977, when Graham McPherson took over the lead vocals after seeing the band perform in a friend's garden. Delane went on to be an actor under the name Dicron Delane. Smith, who left after an argument with Barson, was replaced by Gavin Rogers, Barson's girlfriend's brother. McPherson was kicked out of the band for too often choosing to watch Chelsea instead of rehearsing. Thompson left the band after Barson criticized his saxophone playing. By 1978, the band had allowed McPherson to return, after filling in temporarily for Hassler. Thompson returned after patching things up with Barson. Drummer Dan Woodgate and bass player Mark Bedford also joined the band, replacing Gary Dovey and Rogers, respectively. After briefly changing their name to Morris and the Miners, the band renamed itself as Madness in 1979, paying homage to one of their favorite songs by ska-slash-reggae artist Prince Buster. The band remained a sextet until late 1979, when Charles Smash rejoined and officially became the seventh member of Madness as a backing vocalist and dancer. During 1979, the band began to attract a live following in London being regulars at the Dublin Castle in Camden Town. The band's first commercial recording was the Lee Thompson composition The Prince. The song, like the band's name, paid homage to their idol, Prince Buster. The song was released through Two Tone Records, the label of the specials founder Jerry Dammers. The song was a surprise hit, peaking in the UK music charts at number 16. A performance of The Prince on popular UK music show Top of the Pops helped Madness gain public recognition. Madness then toured with fellow two tone bands The Specials and The Selector, before recording their debut album. That debut album, One Step Beyond, was released by Stiff Records. The album included a re recording of The Prince and its B side Madness, and the band's second and third singles, One Step Beyond and My Girl. The title song was a cover of the B-side of the 1960s Prince Buster hit Al Capone. One Step Beyond. Stayed in the British charts for 78 weeks, peaking at number 2. After the release of My Girl, the band felt that they had exhausted the material from One Step Beyond, and did not want to release any more singles from the album. However, Dave Robinson, head of Stiff Records, disagreed. Eventually, a compromise was made and the band decided to release an EP featuring one album track and three new tracks. The result was the Work, Rest and Play EP, which was headlined by the song Night Boat to Cairo, from the One Step Beyond album. The EP reached number six in the UK singles chart. Live recordings of Madness performances as well as those by other two-tone bands were used in the documentary film and soundtrack album Dance Craze. In 1980, the band's second album, absolutely reached number two in the UK album charts. Absolutely spawned some of the band's biggest hits, most notably Baggy Trousers, which peaked at number three in the UK singles chart. Embarrassment reached number four in the charts, and the instrumental song The Return of the Lost Palmas 7 climbed to number seven. Although the album reviews were generally less enthusiastic than those of One Step Beyond, they were mostly positive. Robert Christgau gave the album a favorable B grade, but Rolling Stone awarded the album just one out of five stars. Rolling Stone was particularly scathing of the ska revival in general, stating that the specials wasn't very good and Madness were simply the Blues Brothers with English accents. 
a drama documentary film entitled Take It or Leave It was released in 1981, featuring the band members playing themselves in a recreation of their early days to the then-current period. In 1981, the band's third studio album, Seven, reached number five in the UK album charts and contained three hit singles, Grade A, Shut Up, and Cardiac Arrest. In an article in 1979, Chris Foreman explained that the band's music would move with the times, and change styles as time goes on. This was shown to be the case, as unlike the two ska-filled, fast-paced albums that preceded it, Seven was something of a change in direction. Sugg's vocal performance changed significantly, and his strong accent from the previous albums had been watered down. The album strayed from the ska-influenced sound of One Step Beyond. And absolutely, and moved towards a pop sound, a trend that continued with subsequent albums. Near the end of 1981, Madness released one of their most recognized songs, a cover of Lobby Sifer's 1971 hit It Must Be Love. The song climbed to number 4 in the UK, and in 1983, the song peaked at number 33 in the US charts. In 1982, Madness released their only number 1 hit to date, House of Fun, which they played live on the 1980s series The Young Ones, and also reached number 1 in the album charts with their first compilation, Complete Madness. In November 1982, they released their fourth studio album, The Rise and Fall, which was well received in the UK, but did not get an American release. Instead, many of its songs were included on the US compilation Madness, including Our House, which was their most internationally successful single to date. Our House reached number 5 in the UK music charts and number 7 in the US charts, it was also performed live on The Young Ones. Many reviewers compared the rise and fall to the Kinks Village Green Preservation Society, and it is at times retrospectively considered a concept album. The album also featured Primrose Hill, which was more similar to the Beatles song Strawberry Fields Forever, containing similar psychedelic imagery and a layered arrangement. In 1983, their single Wings of a Dove peaked at number two in the UK charts, followed by The Sun and the Rain. Their following album, Keep Moving, peaked at number 6 in the UK album charts, and two singles from that album reached the top 20 inches the UK music charts. The album received some good reviews, with Rolling Stone magazine giving the album 4 out of 5 stars, applauding the band's changing sound. This was an improvement as the last album reviewed by the magazine, absolutely, was heavily criticized. On October 5, 1983 the band were rehearsing and discussing a possible television series, which was being written for them by Ben Elton and Richard Curtis. Barson then informed the band that he would not be able to take part, as he was tired of the music business and wanted to spend more time with his wife. They had recently relocated to Amsterdam. Barson agreed to finish recording the album Keep Moving, he left after playing for the last time with the band at the Lyceum Ballroom on December 21, 1983. After leaving the band James Mackey took Barson's place appearing with Madness on the U.S. hit television show Saturday Night Live on April 14, 1984. After leaving the band, Barson returned to the U.K. for the filming of two music videos as he had played on the tracks, Michael Caine and One Better Day. He officially left the band in June 1984, following the release of One Better Day, however finished live performance with the band in 1983. Paul Carrick took Barson's place whilst the band toured America in early 1984. The six remaining members left Stiff Records and formed their own label, Czar Jazz Records, which was a sub-label of Virgin Records. In 1985, the label released the band's sixth album, Mad Not Mad. Barson's keyboard parts were filled by synthesizers and Steve Neve joined the band to take his place. In later years, frontman Suggs described the album as a polished dirt. The album reached number 16 in the UK charts, which was the band's lowest position on the album charts to date. Despite the poor chart showing, the album was listed as number 55 in NME's all time 100 albums. The singles for the album fared even worse, with Yesterday's Men peaking at number 18 in the UK charts. The subsequent singles, Uncle Sam and Sweetest Girl, failed to make the top 20, which was a first for Madness singles. Madness were not only running their own label at the time, but also had their own recording studio, Liquidator Studios. The studio is still located on Caledonian Road in North London, in what was once the premises of their fan club office. They built a 24 track professional studio in the cellar. The ground floor has always been an office and chill out area, while a room upstairs is used for song mixing. The band have recorded a number of demos and B sides at Liquidator, as well as the Madness album in 1988. 
Other acts to use the studio include Fergal Sharkey, The Farm, Apollo 440, The Potato 5, The Nutty Boys, The Deltones and The Butterfield 8. The studio is still regularly used by musicians, including members of Madness themselves. The band then attempted to record a new album, and 11 demo tracks were recorded. However, musical differences arose between band members, and in September 1986, the band announced that they were to split. Barson rejoined the band for a farewell single, The Ghost Train, but did not appear in the music video. The band officially split following the release of the single, which reached a high of number 18 in the UK. In 1988, four members of the band, Suggs, Charles Smash, Lee Thompson and Chris Foreman, continued under the name The Madness. After one self titled album and two singles that failed to make the top 40, the band split. Towards the end of 1991, It Must Be Love was re released and eventually reached number 6 in the UK singles chart in February 1992. Following that, the singles compilation Divine Madness was released and peaked at number 1 in the album charts. Madness then announced plans for a reunion concert, Madstock which was held at Finsbury Park, London on 8 and 9th of August of that year. The original lineup reunited, performing together for the first time since Barson left the band in 1984. Over 75,000 fans attended the weekend festival, and the dancing of the crowd caused some nearby tower blocks to shake perceptibly as they resonated with the frequency of the music. After the Finsbury Park comeback, a live album was released, and the associated single, The Harder They Come reached number 44 in the UK with the album reaching number 22. The band continued to reunite for annual UK Christmas season tours and held three more Matstock festivals, in 1994, 1996 and 1998. Also in 1998, Madness returned to America for their first tour there since 1984. The live album Universal Madness was recorded at the Universal Amphitheater in LA and released the following year. In 1999, Madness released their first studio album since 1986, entitled Wonderful. The album reached number 17 in the UK album charts, and the lead single, Love Struck, gave the band their first new top 10 hit in the UK since 1983. Neither of the two subsequent singles from the album, Johnny the Horse and Drip Fed Fred, entered the top 40 of the UK charts. From October 28, 2002 to August 16, 2003, a musical based on Madness songs, Our House, ran at the Cambridge Theatre in London. Madness played a role in the executive production of the show, and Suggs played a role in the production for a period, playing the central character's father. It won an Olivier Award for Best New Musical of 2003, and the performance was released on DVD on November 1, 2004. There was also a previous musical based on Madness songs, One Step Beyond, written by Alan Gilby. The musical had a brief run at the Theatre Royal Stratford East in 1993 and a run at Putney Arts Theatre, London in 2012. In 2004, the band played a series of low-key concerts as the Danger Men, performing covers of classic reggae and ska songs. A lot of the songs were those played by the band when they were first forming, and the band performed the songs as a celebration of their 25th anniversary. This led to the release of the album The Danger Men Sessions Volume 1 on V2 Records in August 2005. During the sessions which produced the album, in mid-2005, guitarist Chris Foreman announced his departure, citing the petty, time-consuming bollocks that goes on in the band as his reason for leaving. The band completed the album without him, and on release, it peaked at number 11 in the UK album charts, which was the band's highest studio album chart position in 21 years. Although two singles were released, neither was a major success in the UK. The more successful of the two, Shame and Scandal, reached number 38, but was more successful in France where it peaked at number 12. Girl Why Don't You? did not chart and the band left the V2 record label shortly after. At this time, Kevin Burdett joined as the band's guitarist for live appearances and also appeared in the videos for both Sorry and NW5 in early 2007. The six remaining original members of Madness began working on their first original album in seven years. In March 2007, the non-LP single Sorry was released on the band's own record label Lucky 7 Records, peaking in the UK charts at number 23. The single included a version featuring UK hip-hop artists Sway De Safo and Baby Blue. The new Madness song NW5 and a re-recorded version of It Must Be Love were featured in the German film Noah's Film Wixerin. The two songs were released in Germany as a double A side, and both of them were turned into music videos, which, besides members of the film's cast, 
featured Suggs, Charles Smash, Woody and stand-in guitarist Burdette. A re-recorded version of NW5 was released as a single on January 14, 2008 in the UK reaching number 24, this recording featured original Madness guitarist Chris Foreman, who had rejoined the band in time for the 2006 Christmas tour, but had not participated in the original recording of the song. In June 2008, Madness played the majority of their new album The Liberty of Norton Fulgate at London's Hackney Empire for three nights. The Hackney Empire performances were recorded and sold to fans as they left the show on USB wristbands. Madness played two dates in December 2008, firstly in Manchester on 18th of December, and secondly a return gig to the O2 in London on the 19th. In December 2008 the band also announced that for their 30th anniversary in 2009, they would be staging a fifth Madstock Festival in London's Victoria Park on 17 July 11th years after the last Madstock concert. It was originally rumored that the newly reformed The Specials would make an appearance after finishing their reunion tour. However, this did not occur, although original Specials keyboardist Jerry Dammers, who was not part of the reunion lineup, was announced as a support act with the Spatial aka Orchestra shortly before the festival. Dammers would support Madness again during their 2009 Christmas tour, when he opened each night with a DJ set. Through late March and early April 2009 the band played a series of festival and separate headlining dates across Australia. The lead-up single from their latest album, entitled Dust Devil, was released on 11th of May on Lucky 7 Records. Alfie Allen and Jamie Winstone co-starred in the music video. The single charted at number 64 on the UK singles charts and at number 1 on the UK independent charts on May 17, 2009. The new album, entitled The Liberty of Norton Folkgate, was released a week later, on May 18, 2009. It charted at number 5 in the UK album charts. The band continued to play various festivals, including Pink Pop, Splendor, and Glastonbury. On September 27, 2009, the band also played a free concert on a closed-off Regent Street in association with Absolute Radio. On Friday 28th of August, Madness played the Rock and Sane Festival near Paris, on the same night where Oasis brothers Noel and Liam Gallagher engaged in a physical altercation, resulting in the split of the band. As Oasis cancelled their headlining slot, Madness, even though having played earlier in the evening, were asked to replace them. They accepted the invitation and both of their sets during the festival were said to have been well received. As in previous years, the band embarked on a Christmas tour of the UK, playing at various medium-sized venues. Mark Bedford took a break from the band and was replaced by Graham Bush for the tour. Some members of the band appeared in Catherine Tate's Nance Christmas Carol. They first posed as carol singers, then played baggy trousers over the credits. On January 18, 2010, Madness released a fourth single. Forever Young, from the Liberty of Norton Folgate. The single failed to chart. During an interview with RTE2FM radio host Dave Fanning on May 24, 2010, drummer Daniel Woodgate stated that the members of the band were in the finale stages of preparing songs for the follow-up to the Liberty of Norton Folgate. The band hoped to be able to start recording the album later on in 2010. In September 2010, Madness were awarded the Idol Award at the Q Awards in London. Guitarist Chris Foreman stated in his acceptance speech that Madness were recording a new album. Madness toured the UK throughout November and December 2010 with their final show at London's Earl's Court, where they played a new song from their upcoming album. However, two concerts, in Holland Sheffield, were cancelled due to a heavy snowfall, although they were later rescheduled for 5 and 6 February 2011 respectively. In June 2011, the band performed at Meltdown Festival at the Royal Festival Hall, curated by Inspiration Ray Davis, who also introduced the band on stage. The concert served as the premiere of three new songs, 1978, Can't Keep a Good Thing Down and Death of a Rude Boy. The summer of 2012 saw two notable performances. In June, the band performed at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee concert at Buckingham Palace. The band performed Our House and It Must Be Love from the Roof of the Palace with accompanying animations projected onto the palace front. In August, the band was the first to perform at the closing ceremony of the London Olympic Games. Departed bass player Mark Bedders Bedford rejoined the band for both performances. In August 2012, Madness released Death of a Rude Boy as a free teaser track from their new album. Madness' 10th studio album We We See See Ja Ja Dada was released on October 29, 2012 and entered the UK album charts at number 10.
In January 2013 the album re-entered the chart at number 16 on the back of the airplay success of the single Never Knew Your Name. From the start of 2013 Mark Bedford increased his performances with the band building to his full-time return to the group, which meant a close to the four years Graham Busher's Bush had spent with the band. On March 22, 2013 the band performed outside the BBC Television Centre in a live broadcast for BBC4. This was followed by Goodbye Television Centre, a celebration of 50 years of the Television Centre, marking the closure of the Grade 2 listed building and the last show to be broadcast from it. Following that the band was the closing act to the New Year celebration of 2014 in Dublin, Ireland. On March 22, 2014 Suggs confirmed that Madness were writing a new album which he stated the band planned to record in the summer and release by the end of 2014. In October 2014, Cahill Smith, a.k.a. Charles Smash, took a break from Madness to pursue a solo career. His solo album, A Comfortable Man, was released on May 11, 2015. Madness continued as a six-piece. In February 2015 the band announced the Grand Slam Tour taking in 20 outdoor venues. The band announced their new album Can't Touch Us Now in May 2016. In support of the album the band played the Pyramid stage at the Glastonbury Festival in July. Lead single Mr. Apples was accompanied by a scripted video and A listed by BBC Radio 2. The song Herbert was released as a taster accompanied by an animation video. Further singles Can't Touch Us Now and another version of Me Where A also play listed by BBC Radio 2. The album itself entered the UK album chart at number 5 in October 2016. The band finished the year on a UK arena tour in December. Throughout 2017 the band played at a number of festivals and concerts worldwide including mainland Europe and Asia. In August the band hosted their own House of Common festival for the second year on Clapham Common, this was the band's only London gig of the year. In 2018 the band will embark on a summer tour of stately homes in the UK before a Christmas arena tour in December. The Fink Brothers were a short-lived alter ego created by Madness members Suggs and Charles Smash, working under the aliases Angel and Rowdy Fink. The Madness was a lineup of Madness without Mark Bedford, Daniel Woodgate, and Mike Barson, active between 1988 and 1989. Formed by Suggs, Charles Smash, Lee Thompson and Chris Foreman in 1988. They distinguished this lineup from the previous Madness lineup only by adding the word the to the band's name. The Guinness Book of British Hit Singles and many online discographies consider this band to be the same as Madness. Lee Thompson and Chris Foreman also alluded to this view on their album Crunch, which was dedicated to the good ship Madness and all who sailed in hair. The Nutty Boys were Lee Thompson and Chris Foreman of Madness. The name The Nutty Boys was actually the name of their album, while the new band was called Crunch. The posters for their first concert mistakenly listed the band as the Nutty Boys instead of Crunch, and the name stuck out while the members of the band Madness were nicknamed the Nutty Boys as a whole. This section lists only the work released by Thompson and Foreman under the Nutty Boys name in the early 1990s. Crunch. Were also Lee Thompson and Chris Foreman. At this point, the band formally corrected the earlier mistake and officially adopted their original name of Crunch. Madness collaborated with Elvis Costello in 1983 on a version of their song Tomorrows. It was released as a bonus track to the 12 inches copy of the single. In later years, Barson stated that Costello's Watching the Detectives was the main influence on the song My Girl. For Wonderful in 1999, Ian Dury laid down vocals on the track Drip Fed Fred which was released as the last single from the album. It was to be Dury's last recording before his death. Ill health prevented Dury from actively promoting the single although he did appear on the National Lottery show, but for a later performance on TFI Friday, the song was reworked to incorporate Phil Jupiter's on vocals. Live, Madness have collaborated with artists Sue as UB40 and Prince Buster, notably at their first Matt Stock concert. They have also played live frequently with members of the other two-tone bands, such as The Specials. In May 2008, Suggs and Carl performed live with Pet Shop Boys at London's Heaven collaborating on a new arrangement of My Girl. A few days afterwards, Pet Shop Boys posted their own version of the track on their official website. In late 2010, the band collaborated in the Cage Against the Machine project, in which numerous artists performed John Cage's 4 minutes 33 seconds for a charity singly intended to prevent the winner of the X Factor claiming the Christmas number one. The title refers to the previous year's successful campaign to get Rage Against the Machine's killing in the name to chart above X Factor winner Joe McElderry. Frequent themes in Madness songs included childhood memories and petty crime. 
Although Madness were seen by some as somewhat of a humorous band with catchy, bouncy songs, many of their songs took a darker tone, and they sometimes tackled what were, at the time, controversial issues in their lyrics. Embarrassment was written by Lee Thompson, and reflected the unfolding turmoil following the news that his teenage sister had become pregnant and was carrying a black man's child. Madness discussed animal testing in the song Tomorrow's Dream. The band criticized the National Health Service and Mrs. Hutchinson, which told the story of a woman who, after several misdiagnoses and mistreatment, became terminally ill. The story was based on the experiences of Mike Barson's mother. Madness' final single prior to disbanding, The Ghost Train, commented on apartheid in South Africa. Early in their career, Madness were linked to skinheads, members of a British working-class subculture that the media often stereotyped as racist. Not only was Madness, along with other two-tone bands, popular with skinheads, but it was said that the band members were associated with the subculture. The band's relationship with the skinheads varied at times. Barson was particularly displeased with the band's skinhead association, often finding it disappointing that so many were present at performances. Before becoming a full member of the band, Charles Smash had been involved in fights with skinheads at performances. In one incident on November 18, 1979, Madness were supported by Red Beans and Rice, who featured a black lead singer, and the band was prevented from completing the performance due to the racist chants from certain members of the skinhead filled audience. Suggs later came on stage to show his displeasure at their behavior, but this did not stop much of the audience from Nazi saluting at the end of the show. Joe Boxers, fronted by black American lead singer Dig Wayne, supported Madness on their 1983 tour. The band's first notable musical award came in 1983 when Chris Foreman and Kyle Smith won an Ivor Novello Award for Best Song for the international hit Our House. Madness received another Ivor Novello Award 17 years later for an outstanding song collection. In 2005, they were awarded the Mojo Hall of Fame Award, notably for being an artist's artist. In 2007, a campaign took place by fans of Madness for the band to be awarded a Brit Award. Many fans and critics feel they have been overlooked over their past 30 years in the music industry. In July 2009, Madness were awarded the Silver Clef Icon Award. In September 2010, Madness were awarded the Idol Award at the 2010 Q Awards in London. Members of the classic lineup are listed in bold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.